two Aussie mates become a fishing sensation right around the world. Hey guys, Aaron again with another video and I was lucky enough to catch up with the legends that started and pioneered Drone Fishing Australia, Jaden and Byron, and I also managed to get my hands on one of these bad boys, the Sky Rigger. This video is going to be unboxing this, I'm going to show you how to set this up and get you ready to catch your first fish using your Phantom. So what is drone fishing? It's not really pulling fish out of the water using the drone, although it could be done but it's actually using the drone as a tool to help locate, find the fish, and then drop your line down there and pull in a big tuna or, or whatever you're catching. Now, if you have a look inside, uh, you've got instructions that sits on the bottom underneath the zipped padded foam case. This is great. It's small enough to throw into your tackle box or in your drone bag. Super light. It's not 100% waterproof, but it's, um, it's splash resistant, but just be careful with it. Not really the end of the world if it gets wet anyway, because there's no electronics on here. So, um, and all the materials made from really super high quality stainless steel, um, salt water resistant materials as well. Three parts inside. The first one is the drone mount. This obviously mounts to the drone and it's built for the Phantom range. The second part or the second item is the release mechanism. So the release mechanism is where the line gets attached to. Um, and then the third one is the fish tool. So the fish tool is kind of like the, the hex key. So this will help you screw and unscrew the little sc screw and unscrew the little screws. This will help you tighten up um, the drone mount and so on. That's all it is. This these three things. So once you get the drone mount out, you need to place it behind the legs of your phantom. Um, you will need your hex key or your fish tool to loosen up the end bits so you can get it onto the back of the legs. There's a little stopper here. You gotta make sure that this stopper is facing the back of the camera. So what happens is it only rotates one way. So it goes up like that and then it's, it stops down here. The reason for that is if it goes all the way, your line or this is gonna hit the back of your camera. So just make sure that this little, uh, this bit here is facing the camera on your drone. Let me show you. So just enough distance away from, nice and even, away from your camera. Um, not on an angle, just nice and straight, it's on tight. And then this is the bottom attachment. So it only goes on one way. Screw it till you click it and that's it. Now this thing will dangle. So um, if you're confident enough, you can launch it with your hand. You can have the line facing outwards, pull the uh, release mechanism towards the back and then launch it from the ground like that. So once it goes up, the line will be underneath here. The guys usually hand launch it because it's just easier and they've been doing it for a while. But if you're a bit worried about hand launching, you can launch it from the ground. Just make sure that li the line is away from the propellers and the downwards. So the mechanics of this is genius, yet so, so simple. Uh, you put the line straight in it, clamp the disc together, lock it in, um, and just make sure the tension's right. When a fish takes the bait or if the, the line yanks down, it just slides out from underneath it and that's it. No need for anything to be released or anything mechanical or battery or powered. Like it's, it's so simple, <laughs> but it works so effectively. It's great. The only thing I'd recommend is to, if it's the first time you're using it, just do it in a backyard or down the park or just, just have a go and practice before you go out to sea just in case anything happens. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you enough information to go out and catch a fish with your drone. Uh, jump on their website, Facebook, Insta, whatever, uh, for some more information. These guys will be more than happy to help you out with uh, any questions that you have. But right now, I'm gonna try and get out there and catch some fish. See you guys in the next one.